Hello everyone! Hey! And welcome to Uncut Gaming! Where we don't edit our videos! But we are brewing potions! Yes we are! We finally found a setup to shoot this game. I've been waiting for so long. <laughs> uh, welcome to Alchemists! Yes! An oldie, but a very very goodie. Yeah. We're gonna have a lot of fun today. Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> this is this a very... Game. yeah. So this is a very special setup. Uh, theoretically, we should have our own little labs. Here we go. That are um, closed and you connect this board to them. Right. But because secrecy is a huge part of the game, and we did this uh, thingamabob where we have a divider and we will try to just not peek yeah. at each other and uh, should be fine. It should give you the feel of the game without actually hampering the experience. Yeah. Okay, so uh, theme-wise, we are professors in an anivers uh, university. Yeah, it's a bit Pratchettish what's happening here. Yes. It's the unseen university. Yes. Uh, and we, our aim is to get the most uh, reputation points. And we're going to do that by making potions. Yes. Um, and either selling them to uh, people at the inn um, or... Um, publishing papers, which is the 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 best way to, in order to get uh, reputation points. Yeah. Um, so five rounds. Uh, six. Six rounds. Six rounds. Five adventures. Every round is a day. We're basically going to collect um, those ingredients. We're going to combine them. Let's uh, demonstrate. So let's say I have this lovely scorpion and this. How do you call this? The root. I think it's a uh, uh, ma mandragora, mandrake. Yeah, mandrake or mandragora root or or yes. something. I don't know. So this is an app. This is the Alchemist app. Um, and what you do is you you brew potions. And I hope you can see this. But the camera basically picks up the cards. This is in secret. This is done in secret. And now I know that I have a green minus potion. Yeah, there's usually a noise to accompany it, but... Uh, yeah, let's, let's make that happen. You unmuted my phone, honey. I don't think yes. it's ever been unmuted. Yeah. Let's try this one more time. Okay. So this yes. is the result of the experiment that Idan did. Yeah, so basically... In, Idan done did. Yeah. So in Alchemists, we have... Um, six or seven potions. Yes. Uh, we have positive and negative uh, blue, which is insanity and wisdom. Yes. There is uh, positive and negative green, which is paralysis and speed. Mm -hmm. And there is positive and negative red, which is poison versus health or healing. Healing potion. And there is the um, uh, neutral potion, which basically does nothing. Yes. Uh, now, the thematic... Um, um, association isn't really important. This is the neutral one. Yes. Oh, thank you. Sorry. Yeah. Um, the thematic um, um, reasoning isn't really important. What no, is it's just cute. Yeah, it is very much cute. Um, but the thing is, uh, you might ask yourself, how did the app come up with that specific answer? Why did these two ingredients make up a minus green? And the answer to that, and this is basically the whole uh, gist of the game is that the app uh, took there are six alchemicals. Yes, there are six. Um, there are eight. Eight. Eight ingredients, and the app randomized an alchemical code. Let's say this is the random setup the app generated, and we don't know it. Mm -hmm. um, and the gist of the game is to through experiments understand what was the randomization um, set, specific set, and then... So they can see them. Yeah. And then, if you know the alchemicals, you'll be able to brew the exact potion that you want. But until you figure that out, you have to test, and only then can you... Um, and, and then learn from the tests. So how does the logic work? Um, so. You actually did it nicely. Because yeah. Because these would have come out as a green minus. Oh, oh that's a happy coincidence. Yep. 
All right, so the logic is that the, the two alchemicals have to have the exact same um, 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 sign on the color, um, and, and the sizes need to be different. So, for example, these two would make a minus green, whereas these two would make a minus blue because the blue share the minus sign um, and they're in different sizes. They so that's basically have to be different sizes. Yeah. There is one case which they're not, or a yeah. couple of cases, but but in this case, for example, these are both minus green and minus blue. So, so because this is big and the small, they baker. take priority. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and obviously, let's say the plus 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 and the minus 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 make the um the neutral, neutral portion, portion. But all yeah, but also so uh, these two, the plus, minus, minus, and the minus, plus, plus would also make the neutral potion, right? Mm -hmm. So how does these uh, tests work or look like? How do we actually extract information from this? Um, so in order, to, in order to do that, we have this lovely um, track sheet, which is basically our, our um, um, Experiment uh, results. deduction or, yeah, uh, deduction sheet. Our Sudoku board. Yes, exactly, and we have the log. Now let's say that I did indeed combine these two and made a minus green, right? Because again, they share the minus sign and they're different colors. I would basically put this in the um, junction of these two um, ingredients, so basically here. And this is just for me to remember that these two ingredients combined together make a minus green. And then what I do is uh, I, I know that because these two ingredients created a minus green the minus the green itself has to be minus meaning it has it cannot be plus so looking at this little sheet I can cross off for the scorpion column and the mandrake mandrake column I can cross off every alchemical that for its green has a plus so I would cross off this one this one this one and this one for both columns if I do enough tests one of these columns will hopefully have only one ingredient that is still possible, and that is the correct one. And if that is the correct one, then I can cross off every other uh, uh, ingredient because this alchemical can only be associated with this ingredient, mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. You'll you'll be able to see it as we go along. It'll so make more sense. The basic game loop is experiment, and then make marks, and then yep. find out what these elements are. So this is the internal game. The external yeah. game is basically worker placement, where we're going to take these cubes, which represent our time in the day, and we're going to assign them to different tasks, like taking more ingredients, or uh, performing tests, or publishing papers. Um, and uh, I think that's about it. We'll go through the board itself and the, uh, the locations yeah. as we go along. That's not really important. Let's I jump think, into it, honey. Let's yeah. drink that potion. Let's drink that potion. So let's just, yeah. I'll take those and reshuffle the ingredients. So we'll have fresh ingredients next time. Okay. This can go back here. The alchemicals are put aside because we'll only need them when we publish. Yeah. Now there's a lot of, a lot of actions that you can do and a lot of them unlock as the game goes on. So yeah. This location and these two, for example, are unavailable on the first turn, yeah. and then the board slightly opens up. So we'll uh, we'll talk about it as yeah. it happens. Uh, however, one thing is that when you perform your actions after you choose, first thing you do is you choose when you wake up. So uh, you're the first player, so you choose, right? I have the lucky cookie. Yes. Or whatever, and so I'll. It's the cookie. It's just the cookie. Um, this is the first player token, and it'll pass between us during the game. Mm -hmm. So I essentially decide when when do I want to wake up. Waking up early means that I, I get to do the actions first. So for example, I can pick my ingredients first, but uh, going later in the round means that I get extra resources. So there's a, a balancing act there. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so I'm obviously the red player. And I'm gonna choose the um, let's see two ingredients. So these are just two ingredients at the top of the deck that I take and I add to my starting um, three ingredients that I started the game with, right? 
I'll wake up after you, which means one favor and one ingredient. And uh, you're supposed to choose a favor in the beginning. And I, I did. just did. So okay. I get to draw three ingredients and then keep two. Because, because you, I have, you have the herbalist. So let's yeah. show the herbalist. This is the herbalist. It says immediately draw three ingredients, then discard two ingredients. Yeah. Now, because I have no information, then it's pretty much by random but that doesn't matter this is our uh, ingredient discard plan sure. and I took a favor and I have to take one ingredient because that's my bonus and um, now we've decided on turn order because Idan wakes up first I declare my actions first first round is just free cubes so yep. free actions so I will um, let's see See, there's one thing we didn't mention, which is very important for the first round, and that's artifacts. Yeah. So, so. artifacts are basically um, um, sort of passive abilities that we can use. They cost coins. We start up, we start the game with two coins, but we'll be able to generate more during the game. And the specifics are: I, I see the printer, right? What the, what do the boots do? Remind me. Um, I can choose a location and go first. One no. second. On an action space where you have at least one cube, you can perform that action again after everyone is done oh. once per round and cannot be used for selling actions. Sure. And the last one is the yeah. magic mortar or printing yeah. press. Yeah. Okay. I know what they do. So we'll cover them when we buy them, I guess. Uh, okay, so I want to, so you go to... Oh, yeah, I still have to um, decide whether mm. I... You're going these to the mine. shop. What oh. are these? Like, you should you have... You start with free ingredients, right? Yes. And I got one from the herbalist and one from my favor. So this is what I have. Vun de Ba. Okay. Should I explain my actions while you put your cubes? No, let's, when we, I think we'll let's explain it. Let's surprise them. Yeah. Okay. So I'll go to the um, alchemical. The I don't remember light. his name. The transmuter. The transmuter, right? Yes. We'll and I'll go also to go to the shop. Very good. And You're I'll, experimenting on yourself or on the student? Yeah, on my, on student, the student. Student. Yeah, yeah, student. Sorry, okay. silly question. My yes. bad. Yeah. So now, according to clockwise order from, from the forest, so basically we didn't go to the forest, but if we had, we could have picked more ingredients that are available to us here or from the top of the deck. Um, I it. sold mm -hmm. an ingredient to the transmuter and I got a coin. Okay, so these are my ingredients. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna sell off um, this one. I'm still face, looking at you, yeah. and I need to stop face looking down, at you. and I have the Sage uh, Favor card, by the way, these are the Favor cards, mm -hmm. which says that I gain one extra gold piece during transmutation, so this will be our discard for the Favors, um, and so by, by, def by default it's one coin, as you can see there, right? Yeah. Show them the... Yeah. This means one ingredient for yeah. one coin. So because I had the sage, I get two. Very good, honey. Here are your two coins. Next. Okay, now we go to the artifacts. And again, Idan resolves first. Right. So I'll take the um, boots. Very good. Pay your four coins. So those... Are now, four I am going to buy the printing press, which costs four. However, I have this favor which says that when you buy an artifact, you pay one gold less. Yeah, so, you're, you got a friend from the shop, shopkeeper. Yeah, I uh, did him a solid, so he's doing me a solid. Right. The last um, artifact over there will be uh, available through rounds one, two, three. Yeah. And then we'll get three new ones for, round, for rounds four and five, and three last ones for the sixth and final round. Yep. Okay. So we did th these. Let's take our cubes back, or do we not take our cubes? We usually like kind of shift them to the side yeah. to know that we're done with them. No. Experiment, honey. Okay, so. Experiment as, away. 
as you can see, there are two um, spots for experimentation. One, is, one of them, the first one, is to take a, um, uh, an innocent, young boy. impressionable uh, student of ours. Again, we're, we're a professor at a university. And you experiment on him. Right, which means that I'm going to give him a potion. Again, remember, I don't know what I'm concocting because I don't, I don't like, have enough alchemy information yet. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to give it to him to drink. Now, because I'm first... I can, he's willing, and he'll drink the potion, but if you can point, if I'm going to give him a, a negative potion, a negative white, uh, white, blue, red, or green, then he will ask for money to drink, uh, for money to drink, the right, next because, potion. because he needs money for medical insurance, that's in the rule book, mm -hmm. so, so I, I take no risk, because I'm first, right, okay, so, and... yeah, Come on, honey, experiment away. Yes, okay, so this is the fun part. I'm, I'm not gonna peeking. Yes, I'm going to choose two ingredients. These are my two ingredients. Um, yeah, okay. No, you know what? I want, for reasons that will be clear later, I'm going to choose these two ingredients instead. And here in the app, oops, here in the app, I'm going to, Click on test on a student. Mm -hmm. I'm going to click on not looking at you. Yes. Confirming this is public information. I have a plus, a green plus. So that means that I theoretically could have gone with you. If I could get two. Oh, right. One is for the public and one is for your own personal yes. board. Very good. Now, and I, I need have to. The phone so I can do the experiment on myself. So before you do that, I need to discard these two ingredients. I need to mark the, what did I just experiment with? Yes, so this needs to go here, right? Wait, wait before you uh, do anything. Um, and I'm marking off that I can perform a green, wait. I didn't press anything. Uh, Green uh, plus. Now, mm -hmm. this is public information because other people may be influenced by this. Yes. We'll, we'll talk about it when we get to it. Uh, however, mm -hmm. by the way, I want to use my boots of speed to do another experiment. So just remember that. Sure. But before, let, before I get to the boots, let's make sure that I uh, uh, get some information of that experiment. So if you remember, this is a green plus. So everything with a minus on it, I can cross off. So crossing off everything with a minus on it. Great, 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 and great. And now I'm going to do use my boots of speed. On an action space where you have at least one cube, you can perform that action again after everyone is done. Limit once per round. So I'm going to do another experiment. So mm -hmm. if you can reset the phone. Sure. And I'm going to use my other two ingredients to perform another experiment on that impressionable young lad yes and again because i oh, okay and because let me just finish this sentence because i gave him a plus i don't need to pay a coin otherwise i would have but now i made him drink oh and i clicked the wrong button so yeah, let's disregard matter. this icon so I made him drink a um, insanity potion. An insanity potion. Again, I need to log this over here, and this is public information. And here you go. And Thank I'm you, gonna honey. do the exact same thing again, where I mark off anything that has a plus on it. So here, these things go. Remember to discard the ingredients. I afterwards. discard the ingredients, yes. Now, I made a poison potion, mm -hmm. which means that one of my cubes is going to the infirmary next turn. So, I will. So, have you tested it on yourself, cube. right? I and tested it on myself. So, I drank the potion. I find out, found out that I'm poisoned. And now I'm going to spend uh, one hour of the day being sick. Right. Okay. But I still need to mark things so uh, you can talk about uh, how fabulous your experiments yeah. were. 
So yeah. as you can Pretty see over yeah. here, there are repercussions if you're deciding to drink the potion yourself. Uh, you don't you don't need to be afraid that you won't have any coins to pay the student, but if you do drink an insanity potion, you are doing I think um, flywheel. No, no, that's the insanity. Yeah, I'm talking uh, about the insanity. insanity is cartwheels. Cartwheels naked. naked. So obviously you lose reputation. You kids probably call it the helicopter. Yes, the the green minus is um, paralysis, which means that you need to start the next round at the bottom of the time track. And like just happened, if you drink a um, uh, a poison, a red minus, you lose basically one cube for the next round. Now, because we're playing two players. We get to use all cubes, all six of our cubes. So you'll use only five yes. for next round. That's not a big deal. It's it's not optimal, but yeah. it is what it is. Yeah. Okay, so we were basically done with round one. Now we look at this little chart. Uh, uh, there are no publications yet, so I'm skipping this one. Basically, this says that if you have cubes if you have two cubes, if you have cubes here, if you have two cubes under the um, sort of uh, favor um, spot, then you get a favor card. If you uh, needed to go to the hospital, you move yourself over to here. Yeah, but that will happen uh, at the end of the next round because I just poisoned myself. Yeah, and we reveal the next adventurer. Right. The next adventurer. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about uh, this adventurer. So yeah. now that we're in the second round, we have uh, two action spaces that have opened up. One is the cell of potion. We now have the rogue who came in. This rogue wants a dexterity potion, an intelligence potion, and poison potion. So one of us, and only one of us, because in two players you have one cell spot, can sell a potion to him. And that's one of the main ways to make money in the game. Yes. And also, um, sort of, it's a test in and of itself. Yeah, but right? I say we cover it when we get yeah. to it, because yeah, yeah, otherwise yeah. it'll take ages. For sure. And the second option is to publish a paper. You can go here, you pay one coin to the bank if you're publishing a paper. You can also endorse a paper, in which case you pay one coin to the bank and one for each player that has already endorsed or published that theory. And then you can combine an alchemical, uh, which are the little drops that he done said, with an ingredient. So, for example, if I wish to decide, if I wish to publish a paper claiming that this is actually a chicken's leg, and I do that, and then I put my seal of authority. Now, there are three types. There are two types of seals, ones with question marks in the color, and ones with actual victory Number points on them, them. Uh, victory yeah. points at the end of the game when we actually reveal the truth then we will see whether we made any mistakes if you put victory points and you made a mistake you will lose four vp yep. if i'm not mistaken yeah if you put a question mark seal and this is the ella alchemical that you got wrong then you actually don't lose anything right but you hedged you, against it yes but you do benefit things because we have our Top alchemist at the end of each round, the one with the most papers gets a victory point, and we have conventions later, so it's okay to guess. It's actually quite encouraged. Yes, yeah, so the game encourages us, just like maybe in real life, to publish papers even if we're not 100% sure. Yep. Uh, but people, and we'll talk about it, people can call you off and uh, call you out, I think. You call you know. out and uh, show that you have been mistaken. We'll cover it as we go along. So I get the cookie. Do the ingredients in the yeah, forest they die need off? To, yeah. Yes. Okay. Do we get to see the new ingredients before we decide when we wake up? Yes. Okay. No, these are important questions. Mm -hmm. They're like fundamental questions. Yes. I need to uh, see everything that I'm getting before I make a decision. Okay. So now you decide when you want to wake up. I like ingredients. They're nice. Yeah. What sure. about you, honey? Do you like ingredients? Um, okay, so I think I am going to 
go here for one ingredient and uh, one favor. So if you can hand me a favor card. Here you go, honey. Thank you. What's your favor? Okay. Um, so because you chose to wake up last. Yeah. I need to need to declare first. Yeah. So here are my cubes. Very good. Where do I put you? Let's put two cubes in the forest. Very good. As you can see, Dunn's at the bottom because his actions get performed after mine. Yeah. Um, you want to sell? The guy wants to buy the stuff that you can sell. Well, whoops. Um, As you can see, there's a strategic advantage to being first. I get to see his actions and I get to make sure that I don't compete with him too much. Let's put um yeah let's put two cubes for the adventure yeah so you want to sell a potion yeah Very good. i want to try to sell a potion excellent and i'm gonna test on myself once okay so that's over here and i yeah and that's gonna be another ingredient Very good now Usually what I do in this turn is compete with you on the selling. Yeah. However, I don't think it's very beneficial to me at this point. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to publish a paper. Ooh. And then I'm going to experiment on the student. And I think I'll transmute once just to make, just to make sure I have money. Okay. Because I'll see so how you have four ingredients, I hope. Yes, I actually have exactly four ingredients, and I'm gonna pick up one from the market, so I should be fine. Okay, so let's so go. Let's start. I'm first as far as ingredients go, right? But it's by column, remember? Yeah, so oh, so you had one. Column. Okay, so now it's you. You okay. take three ingredients. Okay, you can always take top of the deck. Yeah, um, so let's see. I'll take the mandrake. Yeah, you can tell me. I'll give them to you. Yeah. And I'll take um, two of the top of the deck. Very good. Okay. So that was three ingredients that you took. I sell the one for the coin. And now you get to sell to an adventurer. Now, when you sell to an adventurer, you have to choose the certainty level with which you're actually promoting your potion. Telling him that he will get an exact match will net you four points. Telling him that you're going to get him the icon he wants, that is a plus or a minus, but you're not sure about the color, will net you three. Telling him that he's going to get either the icon he wants or a neutral will net you two coins and saying... I'm pretty sure it will kill you. We'll net you one yeah. measly coin. Now, as to why you would do that, regardless of what you pick as your certainty level, you will get feedback telling you whether you got an exact match or not. And that's almost as good as an experiment. So that's vital information that you will be getting. Um, I will often use this slot just to get information that I would otherwise get from experiments and take a chance at getting some gold. Yeah. Uh, okay. Did you, by the way, remember to change the room number after the demonstration? No. I don't think okay. I never mind. Never mind. The, the, never mind. Okay. So uh, maybe I did. It doesn't matter. So I have a favor with the barmaid. Did I comment, like, and subscribe? What? Okay. So the barmaid says. Mm -hmm. That if I mix an exact match, so the top top one there, mm -hmm. I get one reputation point. But if I do not, then I count the potion as one level better than it actually is. Very okay. Good. So what's your certainty level? So I'm gonna say that I will either give him the same um, um, sign or neutral. So yeah, certainty level this yes very good experiment and away honey yeah okay so when we actually do that we need to first let's show the audience 
So again, clicking on sell a potion, mm -hmm. I need to declare what is the exact potion that I want to try to sell. And I'm, and I'm going to say that I'm going to try to sell a plus green. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to tell the app the two ingredients. Sorry. Yeah, the two ingredients that I uh, picked and the app says that I was correct on the sign. What did you tell them? Plus green? Plus green, right? So you need a plus blue red. Right, 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 right. So that says that I, right. So that this icon says that I managed to correctly guess the sign, which means it's basically a plus, but it's not a plus green. So it's either a plus red or a plus blue. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, now, in terms of money, I managed to sell, what What was the level that I managed to sell at? Well, you said you'll sell it at this level, which is two coins. And with the barmaid, you get three coins. Right, so I need to get three coins. No, wh whether he gets higher than the level he yeah. promised or not, right. doesn't matter, he will still get two coins. Yeah, because that was the risk that I was willing to make. I'm still gonna log this here. And because it's of will, it's information. Yeah. And because it's a plus red or plus blue, um, I know for certain that both of them are not, are not negative. Blue. Are not negative, right? It's a it's either a plus blue, a plus red, or plus in both of them. But the only thing that I'm sure of is that both of them cannot be negative. So I'm crossing off. Mm-hmm. Uh, cases where both of them are negative and there are two cases like this so I can cross of this because one of them has to be plus right for the combination to be plus so this cannot be uh, this does not make sense and this does not make sense and the same goes for the other ingredients so this does not make sense and this does not make sense okay either one of them or both has to be pluses so in cases where both of them are negative uh, contradict that. So that's basically it. Um, that's it. Next. We're nexting? We're yeah, nexting. I'm finished so with I selling. Publish. All right. So I, thanks to my printing press artifact, do not have to pay a coin to the bank, otherwise I would have. Now I have to choose how certain I am that what I'm publishing is correct. So let me just look at the information I have. And let me decide what it is that I want to do with myself. What do I want to do with myself? So I'm going to say that the blue flower is a minus plus plus. Can you put minus, minus plus, plus, plus plus on the blue flower? Minus plus plus here you go on so, the blue flower on the blue flower and yes, this and is I am a bazillion percent yeah. sure I have never been so sure of anything in my life I like I've been experimenting this for years now yeah I get one point for being fabulous right when it, regardless of whether you're correct or not you always get a point of reputation because you actually managed to publish a paper yes so yeah. now, can I have my phone, please? Yes. And now I have to experiment. There you go. So I'm going to uh, take this young, impressionable... Student. Student, yes. And I'm going to make him drink... Come on. Ah, oh, thank you. I'm going to make him drink a dexterity potion. Mm. So, you know, he's very dexterous right now. So dexterous. By the way, I forgot to use my boots of speed. So I guess you don't mind if I'm going to take another card? Obviously not, honey. Yeah. This is not a, this is not a cutthroat game. Yeah. At least not when the two of us are playing it. Now, I will uh, give him another potion. Now, I earlier took a coin just in case I poison him with my shenanigans, but I managed to not poison him. And, oh my god, honey, now he's healthy too. That's amazing. Yes, isn't it? I'm so happy for him. 
dexterous and healthy. And I don't even have to pay his life insurance. Now, I'm going to let you run your experiments. Okay. And I'm going to mark off everything because whoosh, that was a truck ton of information. Okay, so again, um, testing on myself. Oh, now I'm sick with a um, poison. But at least I know how to make poison, so that's something. And again, I'm logging it here. It's probably the clap, honey. And um, we need to remember that one of my cubes need to go here. Or, by the way, here. Um, and now I need to log this. So again, minus red means that everything that has a plus red on it can be safely crossed off, off like this. Uh, okay, so I am done. I'm sorry, I was thinking about uh, what to do with the student and exactly how to, you know, Mm -hmm. Get more stuff published. Okay. You see, I'm fully capable of saying something without it being. Mm hmm. Where was I? Yes, Top Alchemist is me. Right. You get another point. Very, Very good. Very good. Um, he leaves us. Away. Instead, we get the Necromancer. Ooh. who wants intelligence, paralysis, and poison. Perfectly reasonable for a necromancer. And we have a convention at the end of this turn. This convention means that anyone who's published at least one paper... Yeah, can you point to the icon? On, yeah. Anyone who's published at least one paper gets a VP. Mm -hmm. And anyone who's published nothing gets uh, down by one VP. So, right. honey... Publish. Publish away. Right. So you get the magic cookie. Yep. So you get to decide when you wake up. Yep. When the ingredients. Wake you up. Right. We get to see them. This moves here. And uh, by the way, this will be the last round for that um, artifact. Right. Next round, we'll have new artifacts. It's a good artifact. And you have money. That's true. But maybe I want to save it for next time. Okay. I'm uh, just saying, you have money. Yeah. So, uh, I think I would like um, more ingredients. So, I'm going to go here. Your turn. My uh, turn. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm thinking about the ingredients that I really, really want. So, I'm going to get... Did you take them? No. Okay, then please take them. One... Two. I only get one. These are the ingredients. Okay, and because okay. I'm last, I get to declare my stuff first. Now, I want to see if I'm capable of selling him something that he wants. Like the, the, the volume of artifacts that are here actually matters. So, let's see. Uh -huh. Yeah, you're gonna have to give me a second. I'm sorry. So, so I can see that talking. I I can um I can produce the potion, the not the potion, the poison, and I can. That's it. That's the only thing that I can create. At least that I know exactly how to create. Um. Uh, okay. So. If you want to keep thinking, I can talk about next round's artifacts because that's public information. That's it? On it, on okay. it. Okay. Okay, so I want uh, an ingredient, two ingredients. Sure. And I want to sell to Mr. Uh, Necromancer. Mm -hmm. I will not get an artifact. Okay. But I will try and publish. Mm -hmm. And then I should have enough money in case yeah, he decides to tax me. Publishing is free uh, for me, but it'll cost you money. Yeah. Okay. 
So here are my five cubes. I'm sorry, it's a complex game. Here are my five cubes. Yes, give me your five cubes. I, Where do I dump you? Yeah, so for sure I want to publish. Very and good. And you publish ahead of me. That's true. And I'd like to publish, let's see, twice. Wow, so the second so that's time. Three cubes. Yeah, so the second time, as you can see there, uh, uh, cost two cubes. Now I have two cubes left. Um, I think not testing uh, is a shame, so I'm going to test on the student, obviously, because I'm first. Yep. And I am going to. Um, yeah, I'm going to take an ingredient. Okay. okay. So let's start. You get your ingredient first. What am I giving you? So I'll take, let's see, I'll take the, um, the mushroom. Okay. Here. Thank you. One mushroom. I will take a mushroom. Okay. And I will also take a crow's feet. Okay, I'm going to activate my boots of speed to and, do that again. And what ingredient will you be having, honey? So I will think I'll take the feather. Very good. Okay, so now I choose him. I'm telling him that I'm giving him definitely the icon he wants. Not sure he's going to get the color he wants. So I'm going to take these two. And I, what did I tell him that I'm giving him? Right, I'm giving him, <laughs> I'm giving him the plus blue. That's what I'm saying. This is public information. I'm saying that I'm giving him the plus blue, and I'm committing to icon, but not necessarily color, because I'm just not sure. Oh, it's a good sign. It's good. Yes, I got it, honey. I got the icon, but not necessarily color. Okay, great. Now you're giving me that look, but I'm so yeah. ecstatic. So, so ecstatic about that. And I get my free coins. Oh. Yes, I get free coins. Now that we're done with this, we go to the publishing area. Do you so want to you... mark off according to... You don't have to. Uh, I, I can do it while yeah. you publish, but okay. also looking at you publish is like crucial for me. Okay, so I'm going to publish. Uh, I want to publish something about the Mandrake, and I want to say that it's for sure minus, minus, minus. So here we go, minus, minus, minus for the um, Mandrake. Really? Yes. Does my experiments say that you're full of it. Oh, really? Yes, yes. Okay. My experiments say that you don't know a thing about, about mandrakes. mandrakes. Okay, that's fair enough. I am going to put my honor on it. I'm going to put I don't have this one here. Can we and by I the way, an ingredient? Sure. And Sorry. by the way, and by the way, I needed to pay one coin. And because I published, I get one point. Very good. And that was your first publication. Now, I get to publish. And I say that... I honestly did not think about this far enough. I just knew that I needed to publish this turn. So... Um, can I have like 30 seconds? Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, so you say that the mandrake is three minuses, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Breathing in, breathing out. Okay, I want to say something about the scorpion. I'm just not perfectly sure what I want to say about it. That's the problem. Okay, I say that the scorpion is, drumroll please, minus minus plus. Minus, minus plus, here you go. 
That's the scorpion. Okay. Yes, I'll just give you the seal in like a fraction of a second. Sure. In the meantime, I'm going to do something just to save time. Yeah, um, this is my uh, 10 point seal. On here, so you get one point and you need to... I don't need to pay. Yeah, okay. And I am going to say that the green plant over here is... Is... Let me see... Not this one. Oh, don't move too much. I'm trying to get to. Don't don't do anything. Duh, I need to drink. I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna say that the uh let's do this. I'm gonna say that the green plant over here is a plus plus minus. The green plant, you say is a plus plus minus. Now, because I took two ingredients, I published on uh let me just by the way say something about this uh before i do anything else yes okay so let's do whoosh 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 yeah okay so i'm publishing i need to pay a coin i need to get a point now because i published Two are uh two papers mm -hmm. um on these specific ingredients. I get yes. to have the scholarship. Scholarship, right? I'll give you two coins. So the scholarship gives me two points and two two coins and two points at the end of the game. This one goes over here to remind me that from now on, if I want to get another scholarship, I need to fulfill three. I need to publish on three of the. Of the ingredients that are listed on the scholarships here. Yeah. But that's basically uh, it for me. Very good, honey. So now I can, I think, uh, experiment. experiment, right? I will give you, I'll just make sure that it's clean and it has no uh, incriminating information. Okay. Okay. So let's poison him, honey. Yeah, poison the f out of him. Let's take this one. Let's say this one, or maybe do I have this? No, I don't. Okay, so no, I'll do this one and this one instead. I think. And testing on a student, as always. And I managed to make a uh, blue plus. These two need to be discarded. These are mine. That's the blue plus. One for here. And oh god, what did I just do? I did this. You can take them. They're the top from the discard pile if you're not sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I'm sure. I'm sure. So again, marking off anything that contradicts what I just saw. What did you see, honey? What you gonna let them see? And I marked it, yeah, no, I marked it correctly. Uh, yeah, okay. Moving on, uh, round four. Yes, round right. four okay. means, uh, so we... first of all, end of round, there's a convention. Right. Since we both published sufficiently, we both get one VP. And mm -hmm. Top Alchemist is the two of us, so we both get one VP, because mm -hmm. we each have two papers published. Mm -hmm. These are the ingredients for the next round. Okay. Convention is over with adventurer is over with new adventurer, honey. This time we have the sorceress who wants intelligence, health, and stamina. Sure. That's what she wants. That's what she'll get. Okay. We need to get rid of the magical artifact over there. Mm -hmm. And let's go over the three new ones. I'll put them and I'll read them out. Um, I get the cookie, right? Yes. Okay. So our new artifacts are Amulet of Rhetoric, five points of reputation immediately. Thinking cap, test two separate pairs of ingredients 
in your hand, do not discard them. So you need to have four ingredients and you conduct two experiments and you discard none of the ingredients. That's nice. Silver chalice, this artifact has no special effect but it will earn you victory points. Six of them. Okay. Oh, so this is a reputation throughout the game and this is six at the end of the game. So yep. that's nice. I get to pick when do I wake up. I am really low on ingredients, so I'm just gonna take two. Okay. I think I'll take two favors or do I wanna go first? Let's see. Um so can you remind me what can you make? Me? Yes, I can make plus red, minus red, and plus green. Okay. I can make all the rest of them, but you know. Yeah, I don't want to flaunt it. Oh, that's very nice of you. Um, so let me think, let me think, let me think. What do I want to do? Um, I think nothing really is urgent right now, so I'll just take two favors. Very good, let me give you two favors. Okay. So now you declare your actions first. I took your okay. uh, six cubes. There's only five here, am I missing it? So okay. where do I place you on it? Where should you be placed? So I want to use the associate, mm -hmm. which is a nice, nice man, which says choose one action space. On that space, your cubes go in the top row mm -hmm. and this gets discarded. So I'm gonna experiment on the student first. I'm gonna do that uh uh twice very good i am going to need one ingredient mm -hmm. i am going to take uh to um use the transmuter mm -hmm. and i am going to publish yes yes and i am going to uh yeah i'll go so that's four coins, four coins, and four coins. Mm, okay, so I'll go to the uh, shop of artifacts as well. Yeah. Very good. Now, what am I going to do is the bigger question. Like, everyone's asking that, aren't they? Yeah. Like, what, what's he going to do? What? Yeah. Let me just see. What? am I going to do? First of all, I can get one of those, and those are supposed to be that. So, I can probably make O. No, I don't have that ingredient. Yeah, you're gonna have to give me a couple more seconds. Huh. Uh, again with the no ingredients. Sure. I take one, I sell, I artifact, I publish ahead of you. Okay. And I get another ingredient. So let's start. I get my first ingredient, which will be this. Okay. I am going to take, um, let's see, this one, and then I'm going to use my boots of speed in order to take this you, one. You can't. You have to wait for me. Oh, sorry. Sorry, here you go. You didn't see that you had a cube. Okay, now I'm going to take like this Like I could one. have been <laughs> yeah, it a doesn't. meanie mean, but it yeah. barely matters. So I'm going to, to yeah, one. so I have obviously the sage and I'm going to sell off, uh, let's see, uh, this one. So I get two coins instead of one and now it's your time to shine. Yes. I, considering the information I have available, I can most probably you know what, I'm not going to take too many risks. I'm going to tell her that I'm going to get the icon right. And I'm going to tell her that I'm selling her A plus red. 
Okay. I.e. a health potion. So I say plus red, then I... Ingredients. Yay! And I got the icon right, right. but not the, the sign color. right, but not the color. Yeah, it's that's, a blue. that's interesting information because yeah. if I have to be completely honest, that's even better. I expected a different mm. result, so that means that there's a mistake somewhere, which is always encouraging because I'm pretty sure I know whose mistake that is. <gasps> Oh no! Oh yes! Oh yes! Let me take my three coins and let me just give you a bit of doubt. Ooh! All right. Yeah, I'm shading Bring all over your uh, papers, on. honey. Bring all it your on. papers are being shaded. Okay. Yeah, now it's my turn to buy an artifact. Dang it! Fine. I am getting the thinking cap, which means I do. I pay four. Yeah. And then I do two sets of experiments with different ingredients, and I discard none of the ingredients. Correct. So I'm just gonna. Oh, nice. That's a neutral, honey. Okay. That is a neutral round. The first now. neutral of the game. Once we're done with the round, I'll explain to our viewers the implication and the importance of neutrals. Yeah, well, yeah. But, you basically, uh, <coughs> if you know something is wrong in one column, then because you know it's neutral, you also can cross off its opposite in the other column. Well, you make it sound so simple, but this is... Uh, uh, an experiment that could give you either all the information you will ever need or nothing at all. So it's fun. Yeah. Okay, can I, can you artifact so I can spend 20 minutes staring at the board? Yeah. Thank so you. I'm going to get Love the one you. that gives me six points. At the end of the game, sure. The Pay your four. Paying four. Very good. Okay, now I. Didn't need to discard any artifacts. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, that was like three consecutive experiments. Yeah. And it's gonna take a few seconds. So this goes away. This goes away. This has been quite narrowed down. So and while you're doing that, I think I'll, I'll cover the last round's artifacts. Um, the bronze cap says that it's just worth 4 VP. The magic mirror says that when at the end of the game we're going to score artifacts according to the number here. Um, and when we're going to score artifacts, this is worth 1 VP for every 5 reputation points you had at the end of the final round. So the more points that you have when we score artifacts, the better the magic mirror will be. And the feather in cap one um, refers to an exhibition. We're going to talk at the end of the game about an exhibition, which is basically uh, um, one last time that you can um, uh, show off that you can make experiments that you didn't already made uh, make. So uh, and this boosts its uh, its VP generation. So we'll talk about the exhibition at the end of the game. Okay. Yeah, I I need to publish, but that's that's a bit of an issue. I'm sorry, because I uh, have some information. Uh huh. That's like super crucial. Mm. Like super crucial. Okay, but this I know is. It's the neutral, honey. It's the neutral that yeah, messed me up. Neutral. Because I have a lot of information on one of the elements of the neutral, mm -hmm. and I have no information on the other. Uh -huh. So I'm kind of trying to magically cross-reference everything. And Sounds you're horribly good. wrong about things, but that doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know that? Okay. Like, horribly wrong. Oh, we're all waiting. Oh. 
So now uh, it's my fault. Mm -hmm. Now it is my fault. Um, so how are you guys? Doing good? They're waiting. That's what Great. they are. Oh, okay. I say this is, this is going to be a catastrophe, but I say that the mushroom is, drum roll please, plus minus plus. Plus minus plus for the mushroom. Mushroom plus minus plus. Okay. And I'm willing to put my reputation mm -hmm. on okay. the line. Okay. So now I can publish finally. Uh, you can get this uh, scholarship, by the way. Wow. Dankeschön. That's and, in German, by the way. Mm, okay. So I would like to publish something on the, let's see, um, yeah, I'll publish something about the chicken leg, and I'm going to say, Um, hmm. okay, so I'm going to say that the chicken leg is, let's see what's left. Yeah, why not? The minus plus minus for the chicken leg. So you say that minus plus minus for the chicken leg. Yes. Maka? Exactly. Maka? And I'm going to put my money on it by signing it off yeah, honey i would not put your money on that one okay and oh and i get a victory uh, a reputation point um okay so now you don't get any scholarships though right no no no, no you don't okay and okay um and i need to pay one coin and now i am going to test on the student um Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's do this one and uh, and this one, let's say. Yeah, or maybe, nope, yeah. Mm, yeah, let's do this one and this one. Okay, and see what happens. So I need the, the app. Sure, let me just uh, unlock my phone for you sure testing on a student these two ingredients and it's a plus yes it's a plus. it's a plus red i need plus reds please sure and Maybe because i didn't reds. very luckily for me you didn't poison him because you don't have money um yeah exactly very good. so let me just mark Good-handy. this off yeah so this goes here, this goes here, uh, yes, and this goes here, and mm -hmm. now let's cross everything that contradicts this finding, and the same is over here. Good. Now we're going to do our second experiment with my last two ingredients, again testing on the student himself, this time. Uh, it's a minus blue, so if you can give me blue, that would be great. A minus blue. Here you go. Honey. Thank you. So okay. I, okay. So minus blue goes over here, right? And everything that contradicts this information needs to be crossed off, which is this one and this one. Okie dokie. This is, oh, this is discarded. Next adventure is going to be the wait. Thief. Let's do this one first. I think we're tied again. 
Yeah, well, we're working hard on it. Yeah. So we both move one forwards. Yeah. Now, next adventure is the thief. He wants insanity, poison, and paralysis potions. And we have a second convention. In this convention, anyone who's published at least twice gets a victory point, And anyone who's published less gets penalized. Since we both published three times, we're safe. We're fine. In that Theoretically. Regard. Yeah. You get the cookie. You want a few seconds uh, to look at your board before you go on? So he wants minus, minus, and minus. Yes, he okay. does. Okay. I'm going to almost make everything there. Um, let's see. I. Um, let's see. So I'm good here. I let's see. I'm good. Plus plus minus. Yeah, I'm still good over here. Minus. minus I'm still good over here. I'm trying to find anything on the board that contradicts anything that I know. Plus. Oh, give me a second. I will okay, contradict. Okay. I will contradict you fully. Okay. Minus, minus, plus. Okay. Um, okay. So my thinking is that I need to try to make an ex a test before we actually publish. Um, so that means that I need to get ingredients and then try to sell uh, to the person over there. So that means that I want to go first. Um, now I could, if I had a coin, pay that coin to actually be first, whatever, uh, whatever happens, but I don't have a coin. So I'm going to go there. Um, your decision now, going to take one ingredient, one favor. You might as well do this, right? Oh yeah. Thank you for that one, honey. Sure. Now, um, let me see. So I get to declare my actions first. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it okay. is on. I'm not afraid of that. It is on. I'm not afraid of that either. Boom. Sure. Boom. And uh, a minor boom. This is less of yeah. an interesting boom. Yeah. So where do I drop you? So um, one cube in the forest, two cubes on the adventurer, one cube on the debunk. On the debunker. Yes, we're going to cover that s section in a second. Uh, I'm just going to associate this. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, that's very good for you. Okay, that's a shame. And I'm going to... How many cubes do I have left? Two. Two. So that's going to be one on the publish. And Another I ingredient will... or some money. Because you're not sure that you'll get the money you need from here. What, what do you mean? Transmute? Only one of us can sell here. Yeah. So I'd take insurance in case I get to sell and you don't. Hmm one of us will lose this uh wait uh so yeah so transmute um take your time there's no real rush no i don't just have any dramatic. ingredients to transmute so that's not going to help me oh well, uh, you take one. okay so yeah yeah okay so wait did you say transmute or no no, no so i'm going to take an ingredient yeah okay. no i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna take an ingredient okay Okay, so I start, right? Yeah, the, despite all the booming, there's no real rush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to take the chicken leg. And I will take the flower. And now you get to take one more. Um, I am going to do... Top of the deck. Yes. Very good. Now, because we're both 
trying to sell, you have these lovely cards that say how much of a discount we're willing to give. Yeah. Now, this competes according to the number of smiley faces. The dry rules say that these areas on the board have a heavy implication. I'm going to use my boots to take another one. Sure. On the number of smiley faces you have, we usually don't play with this because we find it very difficult to remember on top of everything that you have to remember. But since we're both in the same region, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Oh. Okay, uh, declare your discount and keep in mind mm -hmm. that one of us will not get to sell. Mm -hmm. and Three, two, one. So, because we're tied, first player yep. gets to sell. So, I do not get to sell. These two go to the sad pile yep. box to give me a favor at the end of the turn. Correct. Now, because I gave him such a high discount, Mm -hmm. um, the only place that I can sort of make uh, right make a, um, a bet or to to um, you're not allowed to promise to use him this without money. Yeah, so I have to promise him the exact potion that he wants. Now this is important because yeah. that means that you can't just use this space for experiments freely. Mm -hmm. You have to be capable of making something. Right. Um, let's see, I am going to... Fine, I'm not going to rush my turn. I'll be Thank a patient you. little boy. Thank you. I am going to make him a... Let's see... A minus... A minus... Um, a minus... Um... Um, a minus blue. Okay, so you say that you're making him a minus blue. Take the app, say minus blue. Yeah. And then see the potion that you made. Okay. So, um, saying a potion, I want to make you a minus blue mm -hmm. out of these two. And I got it completely and utterly wrong. So, so basically, I made him a plus but you're not sure which color yes okay that's information that's information i don't get any money but you and do lose I need, one reputation i need to lose um two reputation because we're in this area where whenever i lose reputation i lose one more no no, no that's like the rules playing with this but that's we'll fine. play it as the base rules sure. what you have a mistake somewhere uh, no, I, I, I... You took the wrong uh, ingredients? I, I, I know what these two make. So that was a very stupid thing on my behalf. But we're going to play with it. Your mind? No, no, no. If it's an experiment you've done before. I've done it you before. you just got them. So this does not give you any additional information. No, I should have so known exactly. So you just got the wrong ingredients. Yeah, I don't let's, mind you yeah, changing yeah, your mind. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, really let's don't. Do this once more. Let's okay, do. we're not gonna. Yeah, I do. Uh, yeah. Okay. I made this experiment before. Okay, sorry. So again, selling a potion. If this exper if this undo would have gotten him S more information, yeah. it would have been a bit different. Saying this is a minus. What did I say it's gonna make? Oh, uh, honey, come on. I don't remember. A minus blue. Okay. Yes. A minus blue. So let's try this one again. Okay. Yes. And I got it completely and utterly wrong. Again. Again. But this time it's new information, yes. right? Yes. Okay. So discard the two ingredients that you used. At least Oops. you gain something out of it. Let me just pull you back to the region where yeah. people with no reputation are. Almost, almost. Um, okay, so let me just, uh, so because I know it's, it's going to be a plus something, all of the um, signs cannot be all negative. That's right. So that's, that means that I can cross off this and this. Okay. I will pay four to get this amulet of rhetoric, which is five points of reputation. Immediately. Immediato. You're closer, sorry. Three. Four, five, five. Yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah so very close. good. Okay, 
and now I get to debunk. Now debunk is a new mechanic for us now, so let's uh, talk about it. I think that there's a mistake, and I claim that chicken leg baka yeah. is wrong in the red. So in I the chose red. chicken leg, I chose red, and now I press confirm. When I press confirm, we will get the real answer of what chicken leg red is. So we can know if there's a mistake there or not. And chicken leg red is indeed a plus. Yep. Now, because it says a minus here, that means there's a mistake. We reveal the seal in which he done hedged against red. So he said, I'm not sure about red. He made a mistake in red. There are no repercussions. This if, goes out of the game. Yep. If there would have been any other mistake, I would have, he would I, have lost victory points. Yeah. I gained two reputation for this and... Got them. And I have a chance to insta-publish if I use said ingredient or or uh, said alchemical. Yes. What do you want? Uh, I honestly did not think about it that far. I just, I just knew you made a mistake. Mm -hmm. I didn't know exactly what's the right one. Remind me, what did you say it was? Minus plus minus. So you said it's minus plus minus, and I said hell to the no. You gambled against red, so you probably know something. Oh. Don't think too much about it. Can I see uh, the two available alchemicals? So we have the four pluses, which, to be honest, I cannot this credit okay i say the chicken leg is four pluses that there's only three pluses but i am so certain that i added a fourth plus to that what okay i don't pay a coin because <laughs> Are you sure? Okay. You go, girl. Just let me... Oh, God dang it. I cannot. I'm sorry. What? I'm not going to do the Insta Publish. Why? You want to do something else. Okay. Because I want to do something else. Yes. Because I want to hedge against the color, and I've already hedged against that color seven times. Oh, so really? So I don't have any more seals of hedging against the <laughs> everything's okay no okay. everything is fabulous do we have a plus plus minus no we do not okay so that's okay. it my turn yeah i'll publish you debunk now okay okay looking at my little board this is wrong it's not little honey your board is impressively sized. Yes. It's, it's this board, though. And this is wrong. Even yes. though I said something about it, I You're can debunk to myself. debunk yourself, yes. And I am going to say that I got blue wrong. So, so let's open the app. Before you do anything, let's open the app. You can do it. So debunk, you say that plant yep. has blue wrong. Right. So let's check what's the real answer of yep. plant and blue. Plant Yay. blue is plus. Is a plus. Okay. Yes. So let's, let's see what see I what hedged against, hedge. if at all. Boom. Blue. Very good. So that's good. fine. I don't lose points. But you do gain two points. Because I you correctly successfully debunked. debunked. Yes. Okay. I want to say what the green plant is, is which is um, plus, plus, plus. And I'm going to put uh, a, a seal on it. And I'm going to gain, um, basically, by the way, I'm insta-publishing, so you can remove my cube. Yeah, but you still need to pay. <gasps> you don't have money. Didn't you transmute? No. Uh, give back one ingredient, give back two ingredients, no, 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 and you no, transmuted. No, no. no. Why not? Because I thought I'm going to get some money. That's okay. That's okay. That's fair. So I'm going to not publish. That's fine. I'm going to not get my two points. 
but hey, uh, wait, I I moved here because I debunked. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> so nothing else problem. matters. Okay. The problem is now I can't. What can't you? I can't put the free pluses on the. Why? <laughs> even though I'm sure you're correct. Why? It's still here. You can. Because that's information you gave me by. Actually, you didn't undo anything. F it. Sure. That's fine. I don't pay anything. I get one VP. You want to do this? Yeah. Okay. It's fair. One VP for uh, being fabulous. Yes. And uh, that was it. That's my entire turn. Now, convention time. And <laughs> you actually lose oh. a VP by debunking yourself this turn. No, just one. Oh, no, wait, no, it's two. two because of the thingy. And you get one, one VP point. for the convention and one for being top out. That's <laughs> true. Yes. All right, that's fine. This is a funny game we're having this time around. Yeah. Okay, I get a favor card because I have two actions yeah. that went unused. Mm -hmm. And I got like the same crappy favor twice now. Doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, so last adventure, last round, and uh, the via last round artifacts. Um, yes. Last round artifacts are... Yes, here we go. Okay, I'll go over them, you can go over I them. I already board. did. You went over them. Okay, I'm sorry, where was I doing that? It's okay. Probably playing with the chicken legs. Okay, I, I still want to read them for myself. There's no cabinet. I wanted the cabinet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. You have the cookie? Uh, or do I... I sh should I, I have should the cookie? Have the because this is the sixth round and you were first player. From the sixth round? Yeah. Oh my. So that means... I get to pick first. We're, we're on the fifth. Sixth, honey. Sixth convention and then last round, that's it. So why do we have... Oh, because that's the... Yeah, I, I got it so oh. I can demonstrate that there's some randomization. Okay. So no more the testing. No more experiments. Experiments are useless because you do them after the publishing and yeah. at the end of the round you will not get to do that. So let's cover this. This is a new feature. This is a potency exhibition. It's or, an exhibition, yeah. Yeah, it's some sort of exhibition. What you can do is you take advantage of these. Yeah. And if you have not completed some of them, you can prove that you're capable of making them. So you put your cubes here and then you say I can make plus red or plus minus red. I think you have free ingredients. I think you don't have to bring them yourself. No, you do have to bring them yourself. Okay. I think. This is supposed to be sort of a balancing mechanism in case you had really bad luck with experiments yeah. throughout the game. I think it's virtually useless to us because I can get two points out of yeah. it and you can get one point out of it. Yeah. So we're probably not going to use it, but it's here, and it's nice. Yep. Okay. Indeed. I get to choose when I wake up. I honestly have no reason to wake up early. I don't think we can compete with you on anything of significance. Okay. Uh, draw free ingredients. Mm -hmm. Discard the two of them. Uh, can I this card pile? Yeah, thank you, honey. And I'm sorry for making okay. you show hard. Okay, these get this car dead. Wunderbar. Okay, uh, when do you wake up, honey? Um, here. So, so that's one. And of this these. is your favor. A favor. Now, Excellent. I will use uh, my assistant. Yeah. In order to get an additional cube, and we'll mark it with. Uh, Let me give you a potion. Sure, that that works. Thank you. So now I have 
seven cubes, mm -hmm. and you have six, and I have to declare first. Yes. First of all, I definitely want to sell. I don't know if Idan will uh, get in the way and prevent me, but mm. I definitely want to sell. And I definitely want to take advantage of my publishing abilities. The only question is, will I be capable of getting an artifact as well? I'm not sure about that. I also have an additional potion, so I'll get an ingredient. I don't know. Where do I place you, honey? So I need to one cube, one cube on the um, uh, transmitter, mm -hmm. um, three cubes on the publishing, and you have two cubes left. And I have two cubes left. So let's see. What does the adventurer want? He wants plus plus minus. Yes. Okay. Um, this might work. But you have additional happy faces. Um, no, I don't. Why don't you? I have an additional coin, but I only have one happy face. You have the same number of uh, happy right, faces. Right. So we're fine in that regard. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Let's let's uh let's go to the uh to the adventure. I'm gonna make enough money over there, so why would I wanna do that? If you don't need money, there's no need to go to the adventure. You yeah. just go buy an artifact. Uh oh that's for sure I won't be able to do. Do I wanna maybe contradict anything that's on the board? The this minus minus Preferably contradict uh, me. Yeah. Because <laughs> contradicting yourself didn't work too well. Yeah, it's true. Uh, that's a plus. Minus. Yeah. Uh, what will I want to do? <sighs> this is difficult. Shame. I don't see much that I can do. Um, can I try to make a minus? Theoretically, yeah, I can try to make a minus green or a minus. Uh, you know. don't have to decide now. Yeah. And uh, for that, I'm going to have to uh, put a. Oh, but I need to do that, and I won't have the ingredients, so I won't be able to do that. Uh, so, no, I'm not going to go to the exhibition. <clears throat> I'm just going to go to the, um, yeah, to the person, to the adventurer. I don't oh, know no, gonna... you're competing. Yeah, I don't have anything to do. With my uh You're bored, so you're gonna screw yeah. up my love affair with the barbarian who wants health, dexterity and insanity. Yeah, probably. I'm not sure if he's blowing a kiss or sniffing some pink glue. What well, do you well, say? Yeah. Like, comment and subscribe yeah, onwards. Okay. Alright, let's start. Sure, I take an ingredient. I'm not sure actually which ingredient I want to take, but I had an extra. Oh, cube. wait, 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 wait. Waiting, waiting. I'm gonna sell these two ingredients and then I'm not gonna have any ingredients to, to try to wait. create a potion. So I might as well, uh, I might as well just do nothing with it. Doesn't matter. You can just put me here. Doesn't matter. How about I put you here, and uh, by the time we get there, you can decide. Sure. I think that makes as much sense. Yeah. What ingredient do I want? Actually, I'll take top of the deck, hoping it's the one I'm missing. Yes, it's exactly what I wanted. No, it isn't. Mm -hmm. Transmute one. So I'm gonna use my boots of speed to transmute twice so that I'll be able to have some money. Adventurer will magically get 
a Wait, plus red. Wait, is that red? a blind or a Nah. Go. So what are you doing? I am telling that I'm telling him that he gets a plus red. Mm. And he got a plus red. Wow. So, so that's... I get... You didn't declare your certainty level, but I'm going to assume it was at the top. Yep. So that's four coins. I'm sorry for not doing it according to order. I am tired, but yeah. I knew what I was making. Like, yeah. They can vouch for me. I've done that experiment. Okay, now I buy the magic mirror. Sure. It's uh, a lot of points. It's five points. And not five points, but yeah. Why not? It says that at the end of the round, according to my current reputation, I get for every five mm. points one. Yes, that's true. So that should be five points. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Could be six, but at least yep. five. So okay, done. I'm not going to debunk. Are you sure? The Just look yeah. at the board. No, Over here, the board, there I should looked, be mistakes. I yeah, I looked at the board. And you couldn't find any overt no, mistakes? No. That makes me happy because I'm like full yeah. of crap. Yeah. All right, I'm going to publish once and I'm going to say that the chicken leg is this lovely, lovely plus plus minus. So this is one coin. And chicken leg is plus plus minus according to you. Yeah. And that's one VP for me. And you can publish as well now. So go ahead and publish. I think you're right. Okay. Want to so, endorse me? Yeah, actually I do. Okay. I'm going to endorse you on that chicken leg, which means I get the scholarship that's because true. I have three in the region. That's true. So now I get two coins back. And that was my publishing. Now it's your second publishing. That's true. Um, so let's see. According to what's left, the feather can be theoretically either one of these. So this is fine by me. And what? That's a plus minus. Uh, okay. So this cannot be feather. So maybe this is feather. Who knows? Do I know anything for certain? Like the flower? No. You know that you are fabulous. Yeah, I know the green one. So I might as well pay you. Uh, yes. So I might as well pay you one coin and the bank one coin to endorse your little uh, assessment on the green. Why not take a chance on the feather? It will give you a scholarship. Oh, sure. I mean, it's, okay. it's not the best scholarship in the world. No, but yeah, but I just don't know it for sure where the other thing I know well, for sure. Well, hedge on something. It's, no. it's still points. No. Okay, so the, again, minus plus, minus plus minus. Yeah, it could be this one and, and whatever. I'm going to move. Or, yeah, let's just, yeah. So you get so one VP. One VP. And, and you get a scholarship. A scholarship, which gains me two more coins. Coins. Very good. Now, theoretically, if I didn't do that, I could have done that, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay. Moving. I did not understand. Yeah, the thing yeah, yeah. I could have published again said. with my boots, boots of speed, I think, but never mind. After but, I'm done, you can. Okay, whatever. Go no, ahead. after I'm done. No, I transmuted twice. Never mind. Go ahead. I didn't see you transmute twice. No, I sure. transmuted twice. Go ahead. Just, just. Doesn't matter. Both Doesn't matter. and then publish again. It's no. fine. We're not cutthroat here. It's okay. Yeah, I know. I just want to see if the GD frog can be uh, what's available plus minus minus. So let's see, according to all my information on frogs, yeah, and uh, yeah, so okay. sure, yeah, sure, sure. whatever. Yeah, so that's, that's one point for you. Okay, and you get your second publish now according to your boots of speed. No, 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 I don't. Publish. <coughs> I don't want to. 
Yes, you do. No, I don't wanna. And then endorse. I don't wanna. Such a mini me. Since we're done with this, then we are done with you the get the game. Uh, wow, you have a publication on almost everything. Um, Top Alchemist is me. Yes, I'm fabulous. Yes. I know. Yes, I get one favor. You get one favor. Which is important because it's going to translate into maybe points. Okay. Can you get us the yeah. example board? Okay, so this one says, my artifact says, when scoring artifacts, this is worth one for every... Let's go according yeah. to this. So first of all, we're done. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are tired. I'm tired. But... I'm going to remove this, I think. Okay, well, we're done. You yeah. can remove it. So we score according to this. So first of all, each point of reputation is equal VP. That's wonderful. I think this artifact should be scored before. When uh, let's just remember that artifacts. it's five, because scoring artifacts is over here, but you get scholarships first, and it's only at the end. So let's do artifacts first. Why are you changing the rules? I'm not changing the rules. This one says when scoring artifacts, every reputation. These are artifacts. Every yeah. reputation. You see, reputation turns to VP now. I don't uh, think that the points I'm getting here mm, should affect my artifact. That's what I'm saying. Mm, yeah, you're right. So it's five. Yeah. Okay, so let's remember that this artifact is yeah. worth five. Yeah. Let me just tuck and tuck. Sure. Wonderful. So first of all, uh, reputation is VP. So this is now a VP tracker and not a reputation tracker. Second of all, scholarships. So you get three points, and yes. I get four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One of you done scholarships is easier to get, so it's worth one VP less. Yeah. Okay, now we go to artifacts. So I get uh, three points for this and five for this. That's a total of eight. So you're on 41. I get six plus two, that's eight. That's very good. So I can't see the number. This, this is, is 19. 19, 27. 27, okay. Very good. Now each unused favor is converted into two coins. Okay, so this is four plus, so I have seven coins in total. How many do I give you? Four. You don't have to. okay. All right, let's uh, sure. Let's do it according to the manual, and then each three coins are one VP. So I get two VP, and I get two VP. Very good. And now we get to the fun part. So we go to the final round, and then we press show answers, and then it asks, "Do you want to see the answers?" And we're like, "God, yes." So. Let's go over them one by one. So this is supposed to be minus, minus, plus, and it is. it is. And I hedged against Aww. it, so I gained nothing. This is supposed to be plus, minus, minus, and I said three. So that's one, two, three points. Fever is minus, plus, minus, and Idan said five. So that's five points for Idanush. And minus, plus, plus, hedged against it, mm. so nothing for me. This is three minuses, and Idan hedged against it, so mm. nothing. Here, three pluses, and I put five points. That's a bit cheating because yeah, that's okay. it doesn't matter. And here, that's plus, plus, minus. So I get five, and you get five. Mm -hmm. 39. Very good. And the last one mm. is plus, minus, plus. You I hedged against it, so I got yeah. nothing. Whew. So I'm so, either at 51 or yeah. at 56, 56, depending on how I'm you 39. count. Yeah. And that's it? Did you oh. have fun, honey? Yes, yes. I mean... Let's it's, look at our uh, board. Yeah. I think he done decorated his a bit harder than mine. Yeah. But I had many markers for question marks where mm. I, either I'm unsure or you're unsure. Mm. And this neutral was a godsend. Yeah. Because I had an experiment mm. on those and 
I knew that what you said could not be true. And mm-hmm. I also knew because of an experiment that your chicken leg was wrong. So I kind of mishmashed the whole yeah. thing. Like, I think that experiments wise, you have more than me. Yeah. But which is which means I used more time to experiment instead of publish. So that's not good. OK, I'm not sure I, I I'm saying, yeah, I'm saying that you maybe were more efficient with your time. Maybe. maybe. And I also got the printing press, which really helped because yeah. I didn't have to worry about money. That's true. The printing press is very, very good of an artifact. It's also very expensive. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. So, do you want to go first? I go first? I love this game. We don't get to play it as often because it's very heavy and explaining the rules usually takes around... And- 25 yeah. to 30 minutes depending on how uh, receptive the other person is so we really don't get to play it as much we love it there is a lot of uh this game is much more luck based than the usual things we like and there's no there's no getting around it if you have bad luck in the experiments then you may lose but it's still a very very fun ride and i do think that in most games it is virtually impossible to know who's going to win till the end. I mean, I was ahead, but after we started revealing them, most of my, most of my certificates had no points. Mm-hmm. I just leveraged them for the top alchemist. Yeah. I think that sure. I got top alchemist every single round. Mm. Sometimes I shared it with you, but yeah. it was definitely that's yeah. five points. That's, mm-hmm. like, that, that's a lot. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, I love it about this. This is definitely a very, very, very unique game. There's no other game that does this Sudoku thing as well. And even though it's a bit luck based and even though it's very complex and very, very heavy, and when you play it, you're like looking at the board and someone else does something that goes against your experiments and you're like, did I miss Mark? Did I miss Mark? Is he right? I, I'm being paranoid here. What the hell is going on? Did I do a mistake in my board? And sometimes you will make mistakes in your board. And then you will sit there with your own board crying because you made a mistake and nothing makes sense and everything is horrible. <laughs> These things happen. It's a very stressful game. Very intense game. And some of the elements are very much in your face, especially when you compete for spots and who's first. And second. Those are very impactful decisions. So heavy but once you get through the motions and you get used to it it just flows really elegantly and there's something very elegant about the way the game goes things are revealed in phases and the artifacts one of the first round of artifacts are incredibly powerful and you get free turns to buy them the second round are like meh but they're mostly directing you towards the correct number of vp and then the last round of artifacts is just straight up VP generation so you can dump your money into something that's more useful than actual money everything is in my opinion really well thought out the only criticism that we usually have towards the game is that uh, the first turn is incredibly banal unless you pay play with some of the stuff on the expansions because I mean you saw it Nini Dunn did the exact same thing first round and we always do the exact same thing first round every time we play alchemist we go for the rip we go for the favors so we can get four coins so we can buy one of the more powerful artifacts and if we don't get four coins we pay three coins to Meh. the expansions fix that they give you a randomizer for both starting bonuses and both waking up bonuses so that breaks up the monotony of the first few turns nothing breaks up the luck I mean, a few of the mechanisms that are added in the expansions do kind of mitigate it, but there's always luck in this game. But even when you're losing, it's still fun. So yeah, I love it. Components are fantastic. The rulebook is one of your favorites, if I'm not mistaken. It's a fun game to explain and teach. It's a fun game to play. It's just heavy. Very, very heavy. Yeah. Your turn. So, uh, I, I, yeah. So, correct me if I'm wrong, I think this is our number one game. I mean, it's my number one, I think. And I think it's yours as well. 
Um, yeah. I don't know. I, I, I mean, play it a lot less than the others, but it's either top three or top five. I don't know. Depends on what, how I woke up that morning. Yeah. Um, One of my favorites, absolute favorites. Yeah. So I, I, I have a few things I think to say about the, the game to players and gr critique the game uh, like more, more in a uh, designer publisher sort of um, um, field. You cannot so, critique perfection, honey. Right. Perfection. Yes. So um, if I were trying to sell this to, to, to a group of players, I would say that First of all, the theme comes through beautifully. Um, I perfected, I think, the art of, exp of teaching the rules. You've been teaching it for five years. And the rule book really helps in the sense that it gives you little jokes that you can incorporate while teaching, which is written as in the rule book. Everything is very uh, humorous and everything um, is thematic like you do feel like you're publishing papers you're you're literally making experiments and trying to deduct information out of it mm -hmm. the artifacts the graphics um the, the iconography everything is is beautiful the components are lovely the potions um everything is is awesome uh you didn't get to see the the lab where it's actually you have your little uh niche where you have your little cauldron and you're putting the the ingredient cards on the cauldron and you're using your iphone yeah it's, it's your really phone. cute and it, it's secretive and it it's feels secretive. like it's yours yeah i recommend putting on the harry potter uh soundtrack and and using that to to play the game with yeah, it's excellent um and in terms of the internal game that's that's really unique that's really awesome you do I uh, use some logic, I mean some math logic principles in order to solve the little, the little puzzle. Like it, it, it's kind of uh, difficult to explain to players why when you get this neutral, this white plus, it means certain stuff and why. Can you give me my board, I can just, yeah, I can just show like, because this has, it's very intricate once you get to it because you look at something like a neutral. That's yeah. like useless information. However, that means that these two are opposites. So if yeah. I know information about this from these experiments and this, then I can reverse the information I know towards the other one. And then yeah. I can nullify answers and then reach for others. It's, yeah. You can stare at this for like five minutes as a puzzle and just suddenly something yeah. clicks and you're like, ha, ah, yeah. I know something. You guys are wrong. Right. So this... Uh, sort of social interaction where you know somebody's wrong and you're kind of ed edging to to prove them wrong by debunking them. But you need to know what's right so, so yeah. you can use the instant publish feature. So you don't oh you wait for the right moment to right. debunk. Right, and also uh, the social interaction around the player interaction around uh, selling to the uh, to the adventurer where you have to kind of guess what the other person is trying to do. There's this little tension moment with the with the cards. Yeah, which we is barely also kind use of this in yeah. two players, but yeah. you will use it a lot in a yeah. larger number. So that's also fun. Um, and in terms of uh, maybe some um, criticism or stuff that you should be aware of, uh, is the fact that this game has lots of little nitpicky rules, uh, which we didn't really cover. We didn't really explain how these cards work. We didn't really explain this iconography and what like it means it. yeah and uh what else um i usually ignore it yeah. when we play because it's very difficult to explain to new players yeah and it's regions that are and you, marked and it's just i don't think it adds much yeah uh plus this mechanism is not really but I fault? think that this is replaced in one of the expansions. They replace it with something else, the, the waking yeah. up of the golem. Yeah, we'll talk about it when we do that, that playthrough. Yeah, but, but I'm just saying that this, a lot of this critique has been fixed, not all of it. Yeah, um, and be aware that it is something that you need sort of experience uh, teaching people because it's not the easiest of things, especially considering the fact that uh, you can't help. You can't help. Like in other Euro games, when somebody has a rules question, 
most of the, his components are public information anyway, so you can just literally ask the question and point things. But when you're behind a screen and you have either a rules mistake or a question around something that you're deducting here in the little board, it's hard to, to help them. Yeah, um, so you have to make sure that that ex bit of explanation is clear. Plus, they try to do a, a, a good deal of, uh, of explaining in your lab. So you have this little area that tries to describe how the logic works, where if you get this, for example, minus blue, these are the possible combinations. These are the logic that go behind selecting the specific. Also, by the way, we didn't uh, talk about app integration as a topic. Um, a lot of people don't like app integrations. I think that well, it works. they're wrong. Yeah, I think it, <laughs> this is a beautiful example of how the app can be the GM of the game. The game actually comes with a manual GM component. So if you want to have a player for some reason who will... Uh, Who'll, who'll drive the game and who'll, who'll know the answer that's possible, but obviously the app works just fine. Um, um, and it's also web, uh, it's available through, through a, just a web browser if you're, uh, if you're without a uh, mobile phone or a tablet. Um, uh, also, the last thing that I want to mention is that, yeah, the, the last, the, the final scoring is also kind of very exciting where you reveal the information and everybody hunches over over the 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 phone to to see what's going on uh, and there are a lot of su little surprises sometimes i mean in this specific game we got everything right but some games uh, some of the combinations wrong so that's also fun um so yeah now in terms of critique towards again the the designer i think that it could be a little bit um refined i mean these little things are seem like they're not really necessary plus this plus you have to uh, acknowledge it, just like you said that there is a uh, an element of luck we played it with some people who just happened to uh, generate again and again a certain potion and that didn't give them enough information and they and they felt bad about it and again it's fixed perhaps in the expansion but it's mitigated it's not fixed yeah but when you get to the base game, and you, you should definitely get the base game first, uh, it's something that exists. Um, so yeah, so if you like heavy games, uh, don't let the luck sort of uh, dictate your decision. It's okay. Oh yeah, it's uh, it, it's still yeah. extremely it's, enjoyable, it's, it's, even if you yeah, get. Yeah, it's highly, highly, highly recommended for everything that we said. Okay, anything else? No, I just wanted to mention that sometimes when we have a group of new players and we do want to play the game, then we actually do split it up. So I think that with your work colleagues, you were the one playing the game and I was and just I, hovering above yeah. them and helping them with their board and the rules. Yeah. And that created a much more pleasant experience yeah. because someone could help them with it. That's yeah. That's, That's something true. that you so maybe, might consider yeah. if you, have, you really like the game and you want to get yeah. people into it, but we didn't, it's difficult. Yeah, and we didn't mention it, but the, the, the game scales very well between two players up to four players. The game will last a little bit longer, but... But not substantially longer because you declare actions and then you go yeah. through the motions. There and, aren't many stops. Right. And you just basically get less cubes, which means that every player Yeah, we didn't gets mention that, less, but the less number things. of actions scales down greatly. Yeah. Not for people who find uh, many, many, many decisions difficult. Like, like yeah. really, if, if you have difficulties with uh, Sudoku-type logic or just don't enjoy it, like, you yeah. don't have to, to have issues with this type of logic. Maybe you just don't like staring at a board and thinking what are the possible permutations of something. Yeah. Then this is obviously not for you, but for everyone else, give it a try. Oh my God, I like this game. All right. So with that, I think uh, we're done. Uh, Till the expansion. Yeah. I'm so happy we managed to film this. We've been yeah. lamenting on how to do this game for, what, a year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been, uh, it's been good. Yep. Yeah, all right. So we hope you enjoyed this video and review, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.